Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Everything or Nothing. I thought I would never get a winner because on previous shows, I didn't get uh, somebody to live with everything. But Alianza changed that. On our last episode, he won. And this is how he celebrated his meal for four at a restaurant with his family. And you at home, yes, you. If you want to participate in everything or nothing, you can. Just use our email address at the bottom and email us, send us your detail, and we'll contact you. And you can be on Everything or Nothing, the most popular game show on television right now. And before I start the show, here are the rules. The rules of the game. First, the luck and wit round. The contestants will answer a multiple choice general knowledge question. If they get the question right, they go to the guessing wall where their luck will be tested. The first card will be revealed to them and the rest they have to guess. At the guessing wall, contestants will have to complete their row of cards one at a time by guessing if the next card in the series is higher or lower than the previous number on the card. And now let's meet today's contestant. Who do we have here? Your name, where you're from and what do you do? Mohammed Abdul Samad. I'm from East London. And I run the Shisha London in food. And this young lady, your name and what do you do and where are you from? My name is Isna and I'm from Islington and I work in retail and I'm a data manager. Welcome to Everything or Nothing. Hi, yeah, I'm Shupan Choudhury from Enfield and I'm an administrator. Welcome to Everything or Nothing, Shupan. Pleasure. All the best. And this young gentleman here? Uh, this is Zafar. I'm from Whitechapel and I work for an IT company as an IT engineer. Okay, excellent. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good luck, everybody. Now, let's get cracking on. Samad, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, your first question. Are you into politics by any chance? Do you support any, any really, political party? But I, uh, do you vote? Yeah, I did. You did vote? Yeah. You, you voted for your local... Local um, authority. Local authority, yeah. yes? Okay, all right then. Now. Let's see if you can tell me. In British politics, what does MP stand for? Minister of Parliament, Member of Parliament, or Mr. Prime Minister? Just Member of Parliament. In British politics, MP stands for Member of Parliament. Parliament, yes. I'm pretty so, sure. You're pretty sure. Well, some of you right. Okay, your first card is lucky number seven. Now let's find out how lucky will it be for you on your next card. Higher or lower than seven? It's probably higher. Probably higher or are you, are you sure it's higher? It's higher. Higher. Higher than seven. Let's see how lucky number seven is for Samad. It's higher. Well done. Husna. Yes. Yes. You celebrate Christmas. Not really. You don't celebrate I grew up celebrating Christmas. I'm sorry, I don't. We, I we, don't. we used to look forward to Christmas cars. We used to look forward to Santa Claus. Well, he never turned up. So I mean, we did have Santa Claus coming into my school one day. Yes, uh, he, looked, he, he looked like a bit like a caretaker, but I was sure I was positive it was Santa Claus. Anyway. Um, Okay, now let's see if you can basically tell me what kind of bird do people usually eat on Christmas Day? Is it chicken? Is it 
turkey or a duck? It's turkey. People eat turkey on Christmas. So you just said you don't celebrate Christmas. How do you know that? Because we sell them in our my retail. You sell them? <laughs> well, thank God for that. You're correct. Right, your first card is 10. Now, higher or lower than 10? Lower. Lower. Who's not saying lower than 10? Let's find out. It's lower. Well done. Well done. Good. <coughs> Shubon. Yes. You're a theatre guy. Do you, do, do you watch theatre? Uh, not quite. I'm more of a film person. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's not going to help you now, is it? Uh -oh. <laughs> In which American city would you see a Broadway show? Ah. A, New York, B, Los Angeles, or C, Chicago? Um, I would think New York. You would think New York or you know New York. You have, you have to sort of be sure and tell me. I wouldn't say no because I'm not 100% sure, uh -huh. but I do know that uh, Broadway is near Times Square in New York. All right. So your answer is... New York. New York. American city where you can see a Broadway show. Your answer is New York and you're right. Okay, your first card is 13, Shupon. Next card, higher uh, or lower than 13? Lower. It's 1 to 15, uh, as, as you, you know. Right. So, lower. Indeed, lower. Lower. Shubon says it's lower. We had once a contestant <laughs> who, who was stuck at number 13 because he, he keep, kept on going higher. So anyway, let's find out if it's lower or is it actually higher. You never know. Oh. It's lower, well done. Oh dear. Zafar, you're an IT guy. Yes. Well, this is totally opposite. <laughs> okay. The question, is quite opposite. What type of animal is the classic character Stuart Little? Have you watched Stuart Little? Um, if you have, you would know. Is it A, ant? Is it B, mouse? Or is it C, a cat? What type of animal is the classic character Stuart Little? I'm not quite sure, but I haven't seen it. But I guess it's ant. You guess it's ant. <clears throat> are you guessing or are you telling? Are you are you, you you sure? You sure it's an ant? Well, I will go for ant. You're gonna go for ant, Stuart Little, just because it's little, <laughs> Stuart Little. <laughs> ant is the smallest that's, that's uh, the amongst, best guess. amongst those three choices. So you're gonna go for Stuart Little. Ant yeah. is the, <laughs> the smallest. Oh dear, Zafar, you're wrong. It's actually a mouse. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Unfortunately. Yeah. Should get out from your computer screen, you know, <laughs> go out and, and watch, and watch, watch other things, you know, in life and entertainment, you know, I think you need some entertainment. Uh, okay, Samad. Yes. Have, have, have you been outside of UK? Yeah. What countries have you visited? I've been in Turkey, Cyprus. Basically, I'm back home from Bangladesh. Okay. So I've been I've been India ages. So okay. So I've been India, you've been Turkey, yeah, I've been, been to Cyprus. Cyprus. Have you been to Ireland? No. That's okay. Well, if you haven't been there, then this one's going to be difficult. Yeah. What is the capital of the Republic of Ireland? Is it A. Belfast? Is it B. Cork? Or is it C, Dublin? Dublin, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm sure, Dublin. Yeah, well... Um, it's Dublin. Dublin is the capital of the Republic, Republic of, of Ireland. Ireland. It's Dublin, that you say that. It's Dublin. It's Dublin. Dublin. Well, Samad, yes. you didn't have to go to Ireland to know that. You're right. Correct. 
Your last card was 14. Now, next card. Higher or lower than 14? Lower. Lower? Lower. Saying it's lower? Yes. And it's lower. Well done. Right. Just now. On which continent? Actually, before I ask you that, the retail company that you work for, mm -hmm. is it worldwide? Does it have branches in other countries? We um, have uh, other in countries? Japan, Malaysia. Okay. And our head office is in, in India. All right. Do, right. do you get to travel? Have you, have you traveled around other branches or you just sort of... I've uh, been to other branches, but not abroad. But yes, I have traveled to other branches that I have gone and worked and helped and so... Okay. Um, let's, well, l let's see if you have a branch in that particular place then. Um, on which continent is the Sahara Desert? Uh, on which continent is the Sahara Desert? Is it A, South America? B, Australia, or C, Africa? Africa. Sahara Desert is in South Africa. So you do have a branch in Africa? No, we don't have a branch in Africa. No. Would have helped, no. especially in, in Sahara Desert. Yeah. It's a lot of water there. Yeah. Well, you're right, it's, it's in Africa. Yes. Ah, four was your previous card. Now, ha higher or? Lower. Decision. Come on, you can't take too much time. Um, let's go lower. Lower than four. Yeah. Lower. Yeah. It's one of those cards, isn't it? It's, it's, it's quite sort of a, yeah. in a bit Ten, of, of a tricky yeah. one, isn't it? So you're going to go for lower. Who says he's going for lower? And it's higher! Ah, so sad. Oh well. Shubon. Yes, sir. The man with the glasses, you look intelligent. Oh, thank you. I hope I am intelligent as well. We're one of those guys in the class, like, we, we used to call them boffins. <laughs> to be so uh, the, right at the back of the, of the I mean, in the classroom, where other students would pick on you, where, where you've been picked on? Well, the good thing is I didn't have to wear glasses in school. Ah. So um, I was spared from being a boffin, as you call it. All right, then. Oh, well, you're lucky. Yes, I am. It, it, uh, it was a nice for those guys. Hope but they've done well in their life, you see. That's, that's the thing. So now, tell me, on what part of your body would you wear a sombrero? Ah, right. A foot, B, hand, or C, head. You know what sombrero is? Um, Mexican hat. And so, so naturally I would wear a hat on my foot. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, uh, my head. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. No, on your... I, I had to think about it, but yeah, on my head. On your head? Yes. Positive is not on the foot. Sombrero sounds like... Let me way. think about it. No, it's, it's a head. It's a head. <laughs> You're right. Okay. Um, eight was your yeah. last number. So higher or lower than eight? Oh, it's tough. It's just smack down in the middle of the range. Yeah. I'll take a gamble and I'll say, well, it's a gamble either way. <laughs> um, I'll say lower. Lower. Shupon says it's Lower. The man who wears sombrero on his foot, uh, I mean, not no, sorry, <laughs> yeah, on his head. And oh. it's higher. Oh. Ooh. Sorry, Shupon. And the card has been changed. Zafar. Yeah. Just because he's a steward sm small, you thought he was an ant. I had no idea, so I had to just um, give a guess, best guess. <laughs> uh, it wasn't so. the best guess, was it? <laughs> no, no, it was unfortunate. Uh, uh. Now, I think um, this one is quite tricky. Okay. Because many people make the mistake on this particular question. I, 
Um, I mean, this country is a mysterious country. I mean, I haven't visited it yet, and okay. a lot of people haven't visited it. So, anyway, let's see. Where is the city of Sydney? A, Netherlands, B, South Africa, or C, Australia? Where is the city of in Sydney? Australia. It's Australia. You're right. Okay, your first card, 12. Next card, higher or lower? I'd go for lower. Lower. And it's lower, well done. Everything or Nothing, brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Everything or Nothing, brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Have you been to America? Not really. The Americans are very, very sort of larger than life and humorous, funny, funny people. Therefore, they have that president that they elected. And they, they love themselves, you see. Sometimes they, they carve their faces on, 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 on mountains. Yeah? So now tell me, if you know, how many presidents' head are crafted on Mount Rushmore? A, four, B, five, or C, six? How many presidents' face are carved on, on Mount Rushmore? There's a mountain and they have faces on that mountain. They love themselves so much. I'm sure we'll have another one soon. I bet on it. I'm betting on there'll be another face coming up very soon. I don't know how they're going to carve that hair out. So A, 4, B, 5 or C, 6. So 4, 5 or 6. How many heads are on that mountain? Go for B, 5. You go for 5? Yes. You go for B? Yes. Five. And you're wrong. <laughs> it's actually four. Actually four. four. Another one coming, you see it, so I... <laughs> <laughs> oh well, oh well. <laughs> Husna. Yes. In which sport can you make a touchdown? You're from a sports family, aren't you? Yes, football background. Your, your brothers are into football. Did you did you play football with them? Yes. So yeah. you grew up playing football yes, with, with, with my brother. If I didn't know how to play football, he used to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> so eventually, yes, you, you had to, to play with them and, yeah, and you learned. Yeah, goalkeeper, defender, striker. All right then. So now tell me, in which sport can you make a touchdown? A. Baseball. B. American football. Or C, basketball? Touchdown. American football or basketball? So is it baseball, American football or basketball? Touchdown. I think it's basketball, but I'm not sure. Well, I'm you, you, you have to be sure and tell me which one it is. Is it A, baseball, B, American football or C, basketball? Because both of them, like basketball, um, would you American football, you know, they do say touchdown mm -hmm. and even on basketball they say touchdown. So I'm just confused with both of them, so um I'll go with basketball, touchdown. You go with ba you go with basketball. Yeah. Well Come on. Usta. Um so sorry to say that you're wrong. It's American football, you had it right the first time. <coughs> you should have went with the instinct, you're a football player. Yeah. Yes. Shupon. Yes. Don't look at me like this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you, you look too, intellectu in, too intellectual. Will it help I'm scared of asking a question. <laughs> See, like, uh, the, the way you're looking at me as you can ask me a question. <laughs> no, okay. Shupon, in which franchise would you find a character called Spock? A, Star Wars, B, Star Trek, or C, Lord of the Rings? Um, I'll go for Star Trek. Do that again? Yeah, Live long and prosper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I do, do that, so yeah. Correct, Star Trek. Uh, your last number was eight. Yeah. Higher or lower? Um, 
with eight, it's always tough. Um, I'll go lower again. You go lower again. Lower again, and it's lower. Well done. <laughs> Zafar. Yes. Who painted the Mona Lisa? A. Vincent Van Gogh. B. Leonardo da Vinci. Or C. Michelangelo. Leonardo da Vinci. 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 Yeah. Leonardo da Vinci. Okay. That's the right answer. You have the right answer? Yeah. Mona Lisa, have you seen the painting? Uh, on the TV, not a real one, of course. Okay. I haven't seen the real one as well. Well, have I? Have you? No, I don't think I have. Yeah. Not Mona Lisa. But I've seen the Van Gogh sunflower painting. Okay, that's right. You're right. Leonardo da Vinci. Three was your previous card. Higher or lower? Well, there is <clears throat> not many number below three, so I'll go take a risk. It's higher. Higher. So I was going to take a risk and say it's higher. It's higher. Well done. That's the highest, actually. Okay. Samad. Yes. What do you measure with a protractor? A, length, B, angle, or C, area? What do you measure with a protractor? Length, angle, or area? Protector. Protector. Okay. Protractor. So length. So do you measure length or do you measure angle or do you measure area? Length. Length. I'm going for length. You're going to go for length. You are wrong. It's angle actually. Right. Husna. Yes. Do you have any phobias? Yes, caterpillars. Caterpillar is a beautiful insect. No, sorry. It turns just, into butterfly later. I just get goosebumps. Oh. You know, whenever I see caterpillar, I... I know it turns you know, into a butterfly, but... Oh. oh, dear. It comes from Maggie and... Oh, all the butterflies, actually. So you wouldn't keep um, caterpillar as a pet? How, or, no, so sorry. How, no. What, what would you do if you find me crawling up your sort of arms? And I just run ten miles. <laughs> well, if you have... Well, thank God for that then. You, you have phobia for caterpillars. So if you have arachnophobia, what are you afraid of? A, snakes. B, cockroaches. Or C, spiders. 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 Are you, do you have arachnophobia? Any do, you, do you like spiders or you don't no, like spiders? No, I don't. You don't like anything, do you? No. Oh dear. Well, you're right. Ah, your last card was four. Oh gosh. Um, Higher or lower? Um, I'll go lower. You'll go for lower? Yeah. Lower than four? Yeah. Because I haven't had two yet, so... Ten, four, two, just going... The probability is it's going to be higher, but you're going to go for lower. I'm, I'm not putting any ideas in your in your mind. I'll just you, you said lower, I'm going to stick with that anyway. So, Husna said it's lower and it's higher. Oh dear, I have to change that. Shubhan, you took your glasses off. Sorry to make you nervous. Put them back on. No, no, no. Put them back on. Ah, better. Thank you. Yeah. Which singer is famous for his moonwalk dance? A. Elvis. B. Michael Jackson. Or C. Johnny Cash. Um. And I know Elvis was. You know the moonwalk moon dance. dance. Yep. So that was a bad imitation of that, but. So I didn't get that. Could you do that again? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look like <laughs> yeah. You look like Michael Jackson there, so I'm going to guess Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. You guessed it. Did did I actually perform like Michael Jackson here? 
that's the only way I, I answered it. Yeah, because you're right. <laughs> well done. Yeah, that's well good. Done. I should take dancing as a career then. Uh, probably next show could, could be about <laughs> dancing. Huh? All right, so previous card was two. Higher or lower? Are you going to be like who's doing or lower? Uh, no, I wouldn't want to risk it. Because there's one more card, one more number lower than two. Um, I can confidently say it will be higher. Be higher? Yes. But you never know. It is one to 15. So it's higher. Well done. Zafar. Yes. What is the capital of Russia? A. St. Petersburg. B. Moscow. Or C. Siberia. Moscow. Moscow. Yes. You've been to Russia? No, I haven't been to Russia, no. Never. So how do you know it's Moscow? Well, you know, just uh, <laughs> common knowledge. <laughs> Well, very good knowledge, you're right. Thank you. 15 was your last number, <coughs> and guess what? This card is bonus for you because obviously it's 1 to 15, so yeah, next card will be lower so anyway. So <laughs> you don't have to guess, I'll save you the trouble, and it's 13. Not much of a difference, but. <coughs> Samad. Do you watch. Um, Batman films, the Batman movies. Yeah, ages ago. Ages ago. Time That's good. Okay. Good. The, uh, the answer, the, I mean, the, 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 the question is um, related sort of um, years back. So ages ago is fine. Okay. Now tell me, what character does Jack Nicholson play in the 1989 film Batman? Is it A, Joker, B, Penguin, or C, the Riddler? A, the Joker, B, the Penguin, or C, the Riddler. What character does Jack Nicholson play in the 1989 film Batman? Joker, Penguin, or the Riddler? Joker. Joker. See, I told you it will help you. I mean, ages ago is fine, and you're right. <laughs> Your last number was 12. Higher or lower? I'm going for lower. Lower? Yeah. So Mars is going for lower and it's lower. Well done. Husta. Yes. Did you study chemistry in school? No. You didn't? I mean, wasn't it your subject or it was a bunk of chemistry classes? I did science, yes, and there was a bit of chemistry, science and physics and biology, chemistry, so yeah. Why did you say no then? <laughs> you weren't paying long, attention. You didn't pay attention no, to your class, in your class, did you? It was a long time ago I left school. Okay, all right then. Let's see how much you remember. Which element found in milk gives us strong teeth and bones? A, magnesium. C, lithium. Sorry, B, lithium. Calcium. I didn't get to that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you have been paying attention. Yeah, of course I have. Uh, of course you probably also drink milk, yeah? Yes, yes it is calcium. Well now, your last number was four. <laughs> there are, yes, there are a few numbers um, sort of um, before I'm four, and there are more numbers after four. <laughs> You're gonna go higher this time. You sure? Yeah? Alright then, higher. Oh Let's see it. Higher, well done. Finally, I knew. Shupon. Before Will Smith became a movie star, what television show was he known for? A. Cheers. B. That 70s show. Or C. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Um, I used to watch it, so I know this. Um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I used to watch it too. Should we do the opening theme together? Yeah. <laughs> do you remember? I, it's been long since, uh, since I watched it. If you do remember, please. Oh, no, no. Uh, huh? I, was, I was hoping to follow your lead. Um, do you I remember the dance you used to do? Uh, 
th- there were many dancers uh, in that show. I remember. Uh, yeah. He used to go like. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. I mean, I mean, I would say weird, but that, that was actually um, quite amazing. Loved I mean, it. Yeah, I love that show. It's one of my favorite. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It is correct. You're correct. Um, right now, where are we? Seems like you're on your last card. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so Shubhan, you get this right. You go on to round two. So, higher or lower? Um. I'll go for higher. Higher. Yes, please. Maybe or maybe not. Let's see. Round two. Yes or no? It's. Well Ladies and gentlemen, we have a first winner who has gone to round two, a darts round. Shupon. We'll catch him soon. Shupon, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done. And see you on round two. Everything or Nothing, brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Everything or Nothing, brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Zafar, yeah. now, we can see that you're on your last card as well. So you get the answer right, you get the number right, you'll be also going on to... Second round. Second round, yes. Now, tell me, what is the name of Winnie the Pooh's donkey friend? A. Tigger, B, Eo, or C, Shaggy. Well, I don't know this character, so give me some clue. <laughs> I can't give you any clue. I've told you the. I've given you all the clues actually. The f- donkey friend of Winnie the Pooh. That's the clue. Okay, so what are the options? A, Tigger, B, Eo, or C, Shaggy. Well, I have to guess, um, it's just randomly choosing, it's Shaggy. <laughs> Shaggy? Yeah. Oh. Is it wrong? It's wrong. Oh. It's actually Eo. Eo, okay. No idea about that. <laughs> Samad. Yes. Who was the Prime Minister for the most of the Second World War? Is it A, David Lloyd George, B, Winston Churchill, or C, Clement Attlee? Who was the Prime Minister for the most of the Second World War? Can you repeat that uh, answer again? A, David Lloyd George, B, Winston Churchill, or C, Clement Attlee? I'm going for the number two, Winston. Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill, the British Bulldog. Correct. <laughs> Samad, you're on your last card as well. I'm difficult situation at the moment. So, there's an eight on the middle of the thing. So, okay, uh, higher I'm, or lower? I'm going to go for higher. You're going to go for higher? Higher. Higher. Yes. You get this right, you go to round two. Yep. Higher or lower? You're going to go for higher. Higher. Higher and it's low. (laughs) Bad luck. I'm changing the card. What's now? Yes. From your busy life, do you get to watch um, movies? Yes, I do. Yeah, Marvels, Marvel movies. Mm-hmm. Produce more Marvel. Yeah? Now, Wolverine is a leader of which band of heroes? A, The Avengers. B, Fantastic Four. Or C, X-Men. 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 <laughs> higher or lower? I'll go higher. Higher. Yes. Higher. Let's see if it's high or not. And it's... Oh, no. Wow. Bad luck, Husna. Such a bad luck. That, that, that would have been um, I know. very close to... Actually, you would have been on the same level as everybody else. That's not... Because I thought I didn't have any high numbers, <laughs> so... 
Maybe next time you should stop thinking. Yeah. Zafar, in which country would you find the Wailing Wall? A. China, B. Israel, or C. Pakistan? In which country would you find the Wailing Wall? A. China, B. Israel, or C. Pakistan? What is Wailing Wall? Is it That's the name of the wall. It's called Wailing oh, Wall. This is the name of the wall. This is China, had a just great wall, so I'll just go for China. You're going to go for China? Yeah. Well, you have answered your question. Yeah. The, the name of the wall in China is called the Great Wall. The Great, Great wall. wall of China. Okay. And this is the Wailing Wall. And unfortunately, you're wrong because it's in Israel. Okay. Samal. Yes. What is the largest planet in the solar system? A. Saturn. B. Mercury or C. Jupiter. What is the largest planet in the solar system? Saturn, Mercury or Jupiter? Saturn. Saturn is the biggest, the largest planet in our solar system. Saturn. You go for Saturn. Okay. Yeah. Well, Samad, unfortunately you're wrong. It's Jupiter. Stupid. Husna. Yes. Husna from Isn't sporting family, yeah. football family, grew up with brothers who played football. Yes. Sir. And did they ever use you as a football? They have, haven't they? The young, yeah. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> but this might actually come <coughs> in use today. You, you'll be probably glad that you've been used as a football play or played football with them. In which stadium does England's national football team play their home games? Is it A, Twickenham, B, Wembley, or C, Old Trafford? Wembley. Wembley. Yeah. See, I told you. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad they use it as football? Yes. Correct. It is Wembley. Oh uh, Higher or lower? Higher. Higher. Oh, God. And it's higher. Well done. <laughs> Seems like three of you are on the same level. Okay. May the best person win. Zafar. Silly question, yes. What is the capital of the city of Spain? A. Barcelona. B. Madrid. Or C. Valencia. Madrid. I think I'm right. I'm the Barcelona. capital city of Spain is. Barcelona or Madrid? I'll go for Madrid. You go for Madrid. I think I'm wrong. You going for Madrid? Yeah. You go for Madrid. But okay. you think you're wrong. So why would you say something like that? <laughs> I'm not sure. Barcelona is very famous, but it's, um, it's famous for football. But I think it's Madrid. Yeah. I think it's Madrid. And you thought right. <laughs> Your last number was 13, higher or lower? Probability says it's lower, so I'll go for lower. Go for lower. It's lower. Well done, Zafar. Thank you. You've gone to round two. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry, Husna and Samad. You both played really well. It was um, so fun to um, have you on our show, Everything or Nothing. But unfortunately, um, on the guessing wall, it does play a huge part on our game show. You had most of the questions right, and the luck wasn't on your side, unfortunately. But thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you, Usna. Thank you very thank much. You. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Shupon and Zafar, who have both successfully gone.
to round two, our darts round. Now let's see who scores the highest to go to the final round. Welcome to round two, the darts round. On this round, the contestant will throw the darts to achieve the highest score and the highest score winner goes to a final round. So please, Shupon, come on up. Your right foot here, please. Leave it back. Yeah, the darts, the dart board, all the best. Three. Five. Seven. Shupon, you have scored 15. Thank you. Zafar, come on up. Right foot on that dot. Right foot there. Mid back. Darts, dart board. Seven. Six. Eight. Zafar, you have scored. 21. Shupon. Thank you. Miss. Two. Three. Well, the thing is, Shupon scored 20, Zafo scored 21, so obviously Zafo has already won. So Zafo doesn't have to come on up and, and throw darts anymore. Shupon, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our final round contestant is Zafar. Now let's see if Zafar leaves with everything or goes empty handed with nothing. Welcome to final round of Everything or Nothing. Zafar has beaten Shupon by just one go on a darts round. Uh, that's really embarrassing for Shupon. How could he miss a dart? I don't know if anybody can miss a dart from the dart board and just throw it on the wall. That was quite embarrassing. Anyway, well, that's how the game goes. Now, let's come back to our final contestant, Zafar. Zafar, congratulations. Thank you very Welcome much. Welcome to the final round. Thank you. Now, on this round, yeah. all you have to do is guess the numbers and on every turn of the card, you win a prize. Okay? Okay. Right. Now, if you guess one card wrong, that means you will go home with nothing. And if you guess all the cards right, you go home with everything. everything. Got it? Yep. Now, no. your first card is 10. Higher or lower? Well, that's very hard. I mean, it's 10. Okay. Well, I go for, with the probability. I would think it will be lower. It will be lower. Well, finger cross. Lower? Lower. Well done. Um, higher. Higher. Yeah, I'll go for higher. Higher or higher? Yes, higher. Or lower. Let's find out. It's higher. Well done. Zafar, you have come all the way. You have won two prizes already. Now for the last prize. This is mil for four. And the last two prizes are mystery prizes. Now this is mil for four. You get this right. You walk away home with everything. Higher or lower? That's very hard to predict. <laughs> um... I'll go for higher. Higher? I'll go for higher. Let's see what happens. Zafar says it's higher. He gets it right. He goes home with everything. Higher or lower is lower. Oh, that was a trick. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. On the last card last itself. Card. It's lower. Zafar, I'm so sorry. 
It was a good game. <laughs> You're going home with nothing. Nothing. And um, you've done well so far. You've played. You've played well in the question round. I'm guessing wall. You Thank got you them right. Much. Darts. You ha scored highest. On just one round, you score more than yeah, your 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 fellow contestant. That was good. Yeah. That was excellent. You've guessed most of the cards right, and on the last card. The mathematics proven is wrong. Like uh, probability says it should be higher, but no, well it's a game. <laughs> well, well, the card is one to fifteen. It one can to be 15, anything. It can be anything. Yeah. It's not. It's not a casino roulette where basically <laughs> the ball will fall into a certain place. But it's it's luck. It's pure luck. There's no probability. Just luck, basically. Sure. And you have been unlucky. So thank you very much for coming. No problem. On. It was nice. Nice game, and it was uh, nice to be on the show. It's really good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you as well. Ladies and gentlemen. A contestant Zafar is going home empty-handed with nothing. Well, that's the show. You go home with everything or nothing. Well, watch our next episode and find out who goes home with everything or leaves with nothing like Zafar here. So, goodbye and see you for the next show. Everything or Nothing, brought to you by Steamline Linen Services.